Hey, and welcome to a, a quick review of the Race for the Top 4 show. I'll try and keep my videos around 10 minutes. Now, last night, and the la well, the last couple of nights, our rivals have been playing. Now, they say t I'm only interested in talking about Arsenal. Well, I'm interested in talking about our opponents for that fourth spot. Maybe even third spot. Third a pipe dream. Fourth's definitely on. Even though we didn't sign a striker. All right. Manchester United away to Burnley. It's a banker. Man, you win. They drop points. They, they put the ball in the net three times. Pogba, Pogba's the only one that counted. But Jay Rodriguez, who we saw at the Emirates, classy player, he scored a, 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 an excellent goal. And Burnley grind, grinded out a gritty pie of a draw. Well done, Burnley. Nice one. And Ranyak, Ranyak fails again to get Manu that uh, all-important victory. Arsenal's games in hand now. We have two games in hand on Manchester United. And point difference. Uh, points. Mania of 39. If we, win our, if we win our games in hand, we will have a three-point lead over fifth place Manchester United. And the reason they're fifth it's because West Ham played last night um, with, they played, they beat Watford 1-0 and they had that scumbag Kurt Zuma who thinks it's nice and okay and funny to kick cats around. Because I'm making this more PG friendly, I will keep my language down, but normally I would not make this child friendly, this video. Anyway, um, Tottenham are dreaded rivals. All oh, stand up if you hate Tottenham. Here we go. They have, on paper, an easy victory tonight. Um, but they're playing Southampton at home. Anything can happen. Saints have drawn with City, Manchester City twice. J James Ward Prowse in the team, if he's playing. Set piece Dom of the Premier League, in my opinion. Anything can happen. Come on, the Saints. But we will go into seventh. Anything less than a Southampton victory. So on Thursday night. It looks like it probably be 7th versus 8th. Now, we lost last season to Bruno Large. It wasn't Bruno Large's team. It was Nuno Spiro Santos' team. Remember when Leno ran out of the box like a madman and handballed it and got a red card? And in the end, I think that's why we lost the game because we were down to 10 men. And, and Wolves are a tough team, man. They've took teams to the wire. They've won at Old Trafford. They've drawn with Chelsea at home. Liverpool only got a last-minute winner at Molyneux. Uh, Man City only beaten 1-0 at home. Um, they've beaten West Ham at home 1-0. Uh, Tottenham, Tottenham actually beat them in August when Spurs were top of the league for, like, you know... A day or two, you know, and we were bottom. They won their first three. We lost. We lost our first three, etc. It is really heating up. But even though you know, God forbid we lose to Wolves tomorrow, which is a possibility. A possibility to lose any game in this Premier League. You know, look, look what happened when we went to Everton. Um, 
I'm just interested now how Nicola Pepe is going to be used because I don't want to see Eddie and Ketia anywhere near the team in front of Nicola Pepe. Pepe last season, I think, was Arsenal's top goal scorer with 15 or 16 goals. I'd have to check that out. But why would you not put that, implement that into the team? He scores goals. He has a great left foot. The guy costs 72 million. He's obviously surplus to requirements in Arteta's eyes long term. But we need to put him in the shop window to get at least 20, 30 million for him. And, you know, talk of Serge Gnabry coming back, maybe. Imagine that, eh? Pepe out and Gnabry back. Now, that would... Be... I'll tell you now, right? They're saying it all hangs on a thread, whether we're in the Champions League. I don't think it does. I think if we were in the Europa League, that would be good enough for Gnabry to come back to. Because he could look at the and other players we would be signing and maybe Arteta could sell him the vision. So maybe a top four finish isn't a banker on getting Gnabry's, uh, si si not, or not getting Gnabry's signature back. God, we sh what a gem we, we sold there, eh? I mean, absolutely. Champions League, when they beat Tottenham 7-2 at Tottenham's ground on Twitter, he put North London's red. In Germany, he's been seen do it at home with COVID. He plays for Bayern Munich. He's got an Arsenal shirt on, booting the ball against the wall in his, in his house. An Arsenal shirt. I think he's got a little bit of Arsenal in his heart. And I think if it came down to like Chelsea or Arsenal, it'd be Arsenal we'd come back to. I swear, we can pay the wages. We we would double Serge Gnabry's wages because he would be one of our main men. Um, Wolves don't get beat very often. They don't score many goals. But they are, along with Manchester City, the form team in the Premier League. Uh, Manchester City are perfectly in form, apart from their last result, which was a draw. Wolves have won the last three, a draw, and then won again, and I can't see what's further back from that. So Wolves have won four, four of their last five games. Min uh, I don't know what was before that. So, But they got beat by Norwich at the weekend in the FA Cup at home. They're beatable. They're beatable. But they don't, you know, it's going to be a very, very close, tight, cagey game. It's going to be, I don't know if Partey suspended for this game or I, I'm not sure. I, I, I'm not sure Partey is available. Um, I think, I think he is available, but he got in the, in, 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 in Arsenal's last game. When was it? No, it was against Burnley, wasn't it? And he got two yellows, so yeah, he's available. So we got a full, we got a full strength team tonight of our squad, full strength. Unless someone goes down with COVID or pulls a ham, hammy in warm up, there's no excuses uh, tomorrow night. Um, I fancy us. I, 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 I've got to say, I do fancy Arsenal to get a result at Wolves. And, you know, I think Pepe could make a big impact, you know, if he's played right. Maybe a new role for Martinelli. 
Pepe and Martinelli. You know, Lacazette just doesn't score the goals. Yeah, he's good at in, in linking and all that. That's my only concern. Can Martinelli hold the ball up if he's played that through the middle? There's a lot of ifs and buts, but if there's one thing, Arteta's had a lot of time. Away to Dubai, the back. Let's hope it's done the lad some good, eh? Come on, you Arsenal. And come on, you Saints. James Wall Prowse penalty or a free kick. Laters.